guys welcome back to my channel simply Tanika Dion I am your host Dion alrighty now today I am going to be doing something that was highly requested I had some DMs and in uh, comments in some of the videos uh, asking me to do a beginner friendly eye look um, like I did I believe it was in when I did the uh, Natasha Denona palette oh no 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 it was when I did my um that new subscription I did I'll put the video up here but I had a um really easy look I think I used two colors and I was saying that it was very easy and beginner friendly and people were asking me to do that um look or one like that um I got some in the comments as well as some DMs but anywho um so I'm gonna go ahead and just do a uh very beginner friendly eye look for you guys and I'm happy to do that um today I'm gonna be using though these um, uh, NARS palette. This is the NARS Extreme Effects palette. Um, I've got this in my um, Sephora VIB sale. This was not a cheap palette, but because I haven't used it, I decided I would go ahead and use this. Um, so yeah, and these are the colors. So yeah, and I'm going to be using, I believe I'm going to go ahead and use this color right here as a transition color as well as my all um all over color and then i'm going to use uh probably this one right here so just these two colors right here just to do a very easy um just basic beginner everyday look okay um and then also guys i just want to say um that i also had some comments and uh questions about the eye look uh that i had on in my <sighs> y'all well i had it on in a lot of videos a lot of the videos um it was that blue and gold i will insert a picture somewhere right here and i got a lot of questions about what i used for that and the powder i didn't do a tutorial on it but the palette i used was this uh the new crayon case palette um the big box of 64 shades which is like the big sister to the original crayon case so yeah this is the palette that i use for that these are the colors there's a lot of colors very nice i hope you can see them all but yeah so i basically just use this palette's huge i don't know if i can show you i use this blue color up here and then i use the gold right here so yeah i had just blue and gold on my eyes and um that is it oh well i blend it out with this color uh right here and then i use this as a highlight so i used about four or five colors in here sorry you know this is very all janky and weird how this palette is looking but yeah i just wanted to show you guys what i use for that look Alrighty, and then back to this one this is what i use and then um so in the next clips i'll show that this is the palette that i use i'm also going to be using i'm not going to show this but i will be using the huda beauty uh, faux filter foundation stick that i did do a review on which i will link above or below as well as this water jelly primer from huda beauty which i am loving together and i will be using i've had been using her this brush for all my foundations ever since i got it i love this buff and blend brush from huda beauty this is amazing love it Alrighty, so if you like to see the look i create please continue to watch all right so yes i'm using these just these two colors right here and um let's go and all the brushes that i'm using are the jeffree star brushes which is what i always use in all my videos um that's the jeffree star and morphe collaboration so firstly i'm going to take this color right here they don't have names of course so i'm taking that color right there and i am just going to apply that in the crease uh i said crease in the crease and um above the crease and as you can see i am just tapping it on first just tapping it on so we can um, get most of the color on there and as you can see this color is super super pigmented i don't have any nars palettes so when i saw this i don't know i just felt like i wanted it so i got it but yeah you see how pigmented that color is so and i am just going back and forth you know just windshield wiper motion and as you can see too guys i always 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 bring my eyeshadow out way past the shape of my eye that is because i do use a makeup wipe to 
um, clean up the edges. You know, a lot of people use tape to get that sharp line. I just take a makeup wipe and I just, um, just swipe it clean, you know, in my own little way. Like I always say to you guys, there are levels to this. So yeah. And then I am just doing the same thing to the other side. You just take the color and I just stamp it on, stamp it on. And then the, I begin to, uh, blend it out. So yeah, first you just stamp it on, stamp it on, and then you just go back and forth, which, you know, a lot of people call windshield wiper motion, you know, or whatever you want to call it. But yeah, that's what you're doing. Just going back and forth. And what you're doing is just blending out that color. And again, I always bring it out way past the shape of my eye because like I said, I just, I use a makeup wipe and I clean that right up. And so now again, see how it's in the crease as well as above the crease. Um, yeah. And then uh, another, uh, Jeffree Star brush. Now this is a clean Jeffree Star, uh, brush, a different one. And now what I'm doing is I am just blending out the edge. That is just a clean brush. There is no color on this brush. I'm just taking it. It's a slightly smaller blending brush and I am just, uh, blending out the edges. And the more you blend out the edges, that same color that you just use will sort of become like a, like a, a different color. Like it's, you know, it, it lightens it. Like you see how it's dark there, but then when you use a clean brush to clean the edges, it kind of, uh, fades out and turns into like a, a different type color. Therefore, you don't have to use a third color or second color depending on how many you use to um blend that line out you can use the same color just use a clean brush and go to the edge and just keep blending away and it will blend away the uh, line as well all right and here we are with another jeffree star brush and this is an eyeshadow brush that i am just going to pack on that gold golden type color yeah it's like a goldy champagne type color and that color i am applying all over the lid um and you know me i i'm heavy handed with color even though it's super pigmented i'm still very heavy handed so you'll see me just going in going in i just i don't know i just love color and plus i just like my stuff to last all day you know what i'm saying so and i'm doing the same thing to the other side and guys um i do have hooded eyelids so a lot of the times i do do cut crease because that gives me more eye space but i'm not going to do that today because like you know it's a beginner friendly type eye look so just trying to go ahead and use the two colors and so with my hooded eye uh, eyelids i don't have a lot of lid space but you know i make it do what it do and um uh, I also have aging eyelids because as you know, I just had a birthday and your girl is over 40. So yeah, but you know, see, I, I, I make it do what it do, like I said. So yeah, and then you just apply that color all over your lid. And again, I'm bringing it out to the edge so that I can clean it up later. So yeah, and here we go. Um, I am taking a... Uh, um, what you call it? <laughs> Makeup wipe. And yeah, that's what I do. I just clean up underneath and then I just bring it out and just clean up that edge just like that. Just, you know, as good as a piece of tape. In my opinion, it may not be as, as, as crisp and sharp, but it does the trick. And then, you know, when you put on your foundation and the rest of your face anyway, you kind of uh, use a concealer to uh, make the line even straighter anyway. So right now you just clean it up and then when you have your concealer, I mean, not your concealer, your, um, foundation or concealer, and then you can make the line even straighter. Here I am applying a pair of Cliss lashes, which I super de duper love because those are about the most basic lashes that I own. Um, and it was hard for me to find those because I am dramatic. I love dramatic. And now I am using um, some liner glue or bonding glue by Flirty Girl Lashes. Shout out to Flirty Girl Lashes and Chantel Lace with the pretty face who is also on YouTube. Um, yeah, so I'm using that because I feel like this is pretty beginner friendly. Because friendly, um, with this, when you're putting lashes on, all you have to do is just draw a line. You don't have to wing it out or make a cat eye or anything like that. You just draw a line um, just so you can apply your lashes. So, you know, it doesn't have to be thick, just 
a line just you know thick enough just so you know you can stick the lashes too but this is super 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 beginner friendly in my opinion and um yeah so that's why i chose to do the bonding glue because guys honestly speaking i am not a fan has nothing to do with flirty girl lashes or any other company i'm just not a huge fan of liner glue i have been wearing lashes for so long that glue is my thing i'm just a glue girl i need to use glue for my um lashes okay and so yeah so after you do the bonding glue or liner glue you just stick your lashes on see super super easy beginner friendly and like i said you see those lashes on me guys they're really really simple and basic for my liking but i do like them and um yeah and that is pretty much it guys thank you All right, guys, so this is the finished look that I created for an everyday um, makeup look. Uh, you can wear this anywhere, <laughs> to work, to church, anywhere. I mean, this is very, very everyday, very, very beginner friendly, and I hope you guys like it. Um, as you saw, I did use just two colors. Um, you know, I could have made like a wing or something, but I didn't feel like that was really beginner friendly because there's a lot of people out there that still don't know how to do like a winged liner. Um, so yeah, I just kept it very, very basic. The only reason that I put an eyeliner on is because I used the bonding glue and you know, it's a liner glue, uh, well, a liner and a glue all in one. And so that's why I did that. So the, uh, lashes could stick to it. Um, now I do have a tutorial on how to apply lashes um, and I will link that above or below but yeah actually I got a couple of them uh, one using glue and one using the liner glue so yeah um, so hope all of that helps but yeah this is um, what I use of course it was the um, the NARS palette that I showed you just the two colors just like I said my nails still look terrible guys I know my appointment is on Friday and I so cannot wait oh my gosh but anywho yeah just use two colors this little color here and this here and yeah uh, I did forget to come back and show you what I did under the lash line which is basically just took the same two colors and put it under the lash line that's all I did and I have um, And I have hooded eyes, so um, yeah. So if you have hooded eyes, I hope that helps you. But yeah, it's really cute. I think it is cute. Yep. And as far as my lips today, I have on the Pat McGrath um, mini trio that I purchased in my VIB um, haul. And this is in the color Flash 3 right here. And then I've Paired that with the Huda Beauty Lip Contour and Trophy Wife right here. Well, let me just go ahead. Even though you see it on my lips, but this is the liner right here. And this is the Pat McGrath right here. So, yeah. Come on. So, yeah, that's what I have on here. So, yeah, that is everything, guys. I hope this was beginner friendly enough for you. I did do a talk through because, or a voiceover, because I feel like if I talk while doing it, I'm going to talk way too much and it's going to make the video longer than what it needs to be. So, yeah, but if you do, you know, in the future, want me to do some um, talk throughs, that's absolutely fine. I have no problems with doing it. And um, like I said in this video or another video, I can't remember, but 2021 will be focused more on makeup tutorials and less of the unboxings and all of that other stuff like that. Although I'm going to do some here and there, but mainly it's going to be focused on makeup tutorials because I have got to start using these palettes that I get. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, um, if you have not done so already, please hit the subscribe button, like, and comment.